Warm it up. Come on. Let's get those jazz hands going. Come on, Austin. You got to do the jazz hands. There you go. There goes Babyface P. Walter is doing the jazz hands. We are live. We are live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. This is episode 311 of the Who Move My Freedom podcast coming to you live from the Strange Media Studios. And our special guest tonight is Austin. There he goes from Gunstreamer. Yay. Right. Gun, gun streamer there you go walter is our sound effects for anyone who doesn't know that way yeah we don't have expensive sound effects boards <laughs> <laughs> patrick <laughs> need to get on that one <laughs> uh, just boo zayla all the time <laughs> oh yeah okay fine um so austin's here from gun streamer they're going to talk to us about contributors contribute us we're going to have a discussion about that uh today as well as um if there's uh, new gun news or things coming out for SHOT Show, uh, politics and things like that you guys want to talk to us about, it is Tuesday. So welcome to the show, everyone. Please do smash the thumbs. Okay, smash the thumbs. Make sure you share this. Um, as well as if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And also ring the bell. Ring the bell. Okay, I, I said it, Lola. Okay, ring the bell. There you go. All right, so uh, I'm going to go through here and just shout out folks real quick uh, while we're waiting for everyone to join in here. And, uh, you know, to you guys out there as well, uh, Walter, Babyface, mm -hmm. make sure you smash those thumbs. Oh, yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you I have you a hammer. I I'll, I'll hit it with the back of a gun instead. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, make sure that gun has already been drop tested before you, <laughs> before you do that. Okay, Chris Williams, shout out to him. The Archangel as well. Michael Bender, Richard Hughes, Dan. Dan is in the house. Dan was already asking Walter some questions. Mm -hmm. Hope you got those answered. Special K is here. Vanessa Kitty also here. Let's who, see who we... Uh, uh, Richard Hughes is saying something about he can never fly anymore. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Did Richard like, crash another aircraft or something? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the time I hope show, not. The Time and Show is here. Shout out to the Time and Show as well. Kathleen, music lover, Greg 98K, Lewis 1911, Rodney Brady is here. Ridge Runner is here. Let's see who else we got. Who do we have? We have SoCal Gunner, Mike Bryant also here. Uh, Rich White is here. Rich. Okay. Chris Bullis is here. And uh, let's see. Let's see. I think I said Vanessa Kitty already. Uh, but you know, Vanessa Kitty can get uh, dual shout outs. <laughs> Let's see who else we have. We have uh, uh, Gun Websites is here. Shout out to Gun Websites. He says, Looking forward to finding out what Contributus is. So there you go. Uh, shout out to the OG Gun Websites. Boss Hog is here. KS Harris is here. Who else do we have? Um, Psycho 316. Also, we've got Paul from Gunstreamer. Lots of Gunstreamer people here in the chat as well. If you guys have questions, if you don't know what Gunstreamer is, we are going to get into that a little bit um, before we even get into the contributors thing. So we will let you know. But it is a platform for for gun folks, right? Like a YouTube, but better because they believe in the Second Amendment. Am I wrong with that, Austin? Yes, we absolutely do. Okay, awesome. So there you go. Uh, let's see who else we have in here. Uh, Paul K. Moobut is here. Knife is here. Um, wheelchair Warrior is here. He says hashtag 2A strong. <laughs> Gear Bear on the Holiday Road also here. Boss Hog, I think I just said. And uh, let's see who else we got. Jason Scherer, Night Strike, Randy Peacock, 904 Outdoors. <laughs> Uh, 904 says they're on Gunstreamer also. Okay, there you go. Uh, Bricks is here. Uh, Brian uh, Nysel is here. Brian Nysel, Ghost Tactical is here. Shout out to Ghost Tactical. Uh, James Lawson also here. Uh, Flopping Garbage is here. Tacos and French Fries. RTS Guy, Cody Hargo. Um, and Mika. Mika's here. Bill Butcher, The Armsman. And uh, lots of people. Uh, David Serper, Pistol Packing Mama, Corey Williams is here. Ron and Ron also here. So uh, shout out to everyone. If I missed anyone, let me know, and I'll be happy to shout out everyone that's out there. David B. Kills says he's here also. 
So shout out to David B. Kills. Magnum Boys is here. Crackbot is here. Shout out to everyone. Okay. So mm. our special guest, we do have Babyface P. There he goes, Babyface P. I, I'm here. the special guest. What are you talking about? Babyface P. <laughs> I'm always neck the bone. special guest. Uh, Neckbone is the special. Where is he? He's not there. Oh, he's under the blanket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's he's covered yeah, up. He's under there. the blanket. Okay. And <laughs> empty your garbage, damn it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's kind of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Babyface is running around today anyway, so he's got excuses. Walter, Walter Keller, there he goes. Here I is. He's he's here. He's in the house. Okay, Austin, what's up, man? Hey. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on to talk about contributors yes. on the channel. But Thank thanks you for, for having me. Thanks oh, for you're welcome. You again. Yeah, so for folks out there who don't know what GunStreamer is, let's just start there. Explain Thanks. who you are and your relation to GunStreamer and what GunStreamer is. Yeah, so know. my name is Austin Roberts. I'm the founder of GunStreamer. Um, as of yet, we're still a pretty small team. We actually started in March of last year, um, and things have been going well. Uh, GunStreamer is a um, video sharing platform. Anyone can go sign up, and anyone can start uploading content. Um, primarily, it's focused around firearms, guns, but there's a lot of other um, categories that start, you know, start uh, rippling out from there. We've got outdoors content prepping, um, you know, and, and other various forms of content. Uh, some people have channel, I think you have a channel actually, Hank, that has more uh, car related content. So you yes. know, we, we appreciate the hobbies of firearms enthusiasts as well as, you know, their firearms hobbies, whatever they may be, so. Yes, so it's not just gun stuff, but that is the name right now, GunStreamer, right? That is the, that is the name, yes. Okay, uh, I see NOC is also out there. Shout out to NOC. Um, so here's the thing. Let's first of all shout out the team because I know we've got some of the gun streamer guys out there working yeah. hard. Who works yeah. with you? So to so so to give you the basics of the people that we work with most on a day to day basis, we have uh, Paul Wood, uh, and Paul Woods Paul Wood kind of handles the day to day things. Uh, we have Ashley J, who you see in the chat every now and then, and Ashley J uh, handles the social media things. Um, you know, some of the relationship types of uh, tasks. And then we have um, someone by the name of Chris in Colorado, who is our lead developer. Um, and, uh, and he manages everything from a dev standpoint. Now, I kind of help with a lot of various things. I, actually, I have a background in web development myself. Um, you know, so we all kind of wear many hats with this small of a team. Uh, we, we have various people who help us with other small tasks, uh, but that's the core team. Okay, cool. And um, just, you know, for before anyone else asks us, how much do you charge for people to come on this platform and and be able to post their videos on this platform? Well, normally it's free, uh, but with your coupon, Hank Strange told me to, it's actually <laughs> free. Oh, I told you that coupon you're supposed to charge. Oh, to get coupon money, money from, from people. people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Anyone? It's free. Um, yeah. Anyone can join a uh, gun streamer um, and anyone can join for free and upload for free. Um, as of now, we have roughly 500 content creators who have uploaded videos. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 I think those numbers have been growing. How long have you guys been out? Uh, yes, yeah, so we've been out eight or uh, maybe 10 months now. Right? 10 months. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. So uh, we can get into more numbers and things like that. Patrick, Walter, if you guys have any questions. So... What's up? So, 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 um, the contributus <laughs> is basically an equivalent to, um, being a, um, Hey, hey, now we'll get into that. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't gotten on. We haven't <laughs> oh, gotten okay, okay. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Walter's just jumping right in. <laughs> Walter's jumping at the bit. I know. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. So for, okay. Do you, since Walter jump in the gun, Walter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry. Yeah, Walter. Don't beat me, balls. Don't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Take you out behind the shed. Um, so yeah, so since Walter's jumping the gun here, he's a machine gun guy, so you, know, you gotta excuse <laughs> I him. Shot my wad early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you just tell us what contributus is? How about that? It's I think it's I think it's something that it's um that people are gonna find useful out there. Why don't you, you know, just drop the bombs on us and let oh. us know what it is? Yeah, so to give you guys a little bit of background actually, in various uh, shows that we've attended or podcasts, um, you know, we've mentioned what forms of monetization are out there that, that we could utilize. And at the same time, we've also kind of mentioned 
what we're hoping to be innovative ways to monetize. So we think that when a user comes to the site, they shouldn't be plastered with ads. Um, you know, advertising may be a part of the process and it may help us get from one step to another. Um, but we feel that there are other ways that we can monetize um, that don't have to just flood people with ads. Um, so, so that's kind of the earliest of where this all comes from, all these ideas of, of having more innovative ways to monetize content creators and the platform. Um, and then as things have been kind of brewing along the year, you know, we, we end up with issues uh, with services like Patreon, um, which a lot of the other giants are sort of following suit on issues of, you know, free speech or political bias. Um, and they're, they're essentially curating content. Um, sometimes, you know, I'm not going to just throw out blame to everyone, but it, it, sometimes they're essentially curating content um, that, that we feel like on streamer should not just be silenced because the owner feels a certain way. Um, so we're, so we're kind of killing a couple of birds with one stone here, but yeah, so Contributus was built uh, to provide a monetization solution for Gunstreamer and for the content creators. Um, and so, so that's kind of what we're hoping to do. Now, the way that the way that Contributus was envisioned was to be or act sort of as an alternative to Patreon. Um, so we felt, you know, Gunstreamer has built Contributus. Let's be clear about that. Um, you know, it's not some other company. Contributus is a subsidiary of Gunstreamer. Um, okay. Is so, it a standalone? Is it a standalone product, or is it integrated within Gunstreamer, or both? Yeah. So, so right now, it is not a standalone product. Right now, it is sort of the backbone for user to creator monetization for Gunstreamer specifically. Uh, we hope to make it a lot more robust in the future, which comes, you know, something that we're going to kind of get in front of here is that it right now it, on the way that we've developed it and the way that we've released it is a very bare, bare bones version of what we expect this to be in the future. Um, so, you know, we may not have all the bells and whistles or we may not, may not come with all the features that you can see on Patreon, uh, but we feel that there's something the, the very strong here that we want to portray, and that's that we do have something that Patreon doesn't, right? Um, or any other service like it, and that's that we can directly integrate to the content, right? You don't have to paste links from, say, YouTube and and uh, and have those videos on um, unlisted on YouTube or whatever. It directly integrates with uh, GovStreamer, and when you actually edit a video or upload a video, you can set that video to a specific tier from Contributors. Okay, so uh, just you know, let's kind of like backtrack a little bit. So, sure. Gunstreamer is standalone uh, content creation, content uh, consuming platform, yeah. right? So people can go there. You don't need to pay to post your content. Right. Um, you know, lots of people have lots of content up there. I think my entire library on YouTube is up there, and we have like three channels. Yeah. So all of that stuff is up there. Um, you know, you can put your you, you can put your stuff there. Also, what happens is you don't have to go individually drag everything over. I think one of the cool things is if you go sign up for Gunstreamer, you can just give them, um, tell them where your YouTube channel is, and then you guys could go pull over all the videos, right? That's right. So, so if you if you want to import just one specific video, you can do that by just using the link of the video. Um, if you want to import your entire channel. Uh, there, there's a form. It's it's super super simple. There's just like three things you have to check, and and if you submit that form, we'll get the request, um, and and quickly you'll receive an email saying that your request has been approved. Your entire channel will come over instantly, um, and these are all options that you can choose. But generally, your entire channel will come over instantly. Uh, and a feature we came out with a few months ago is that it's not just your channel as it is today. It's all of your future videos. So if you upload a new video to YouTube within two hours, it gets automatically pulled onto Gunstreamer. So okay. We've made this like so, so simple for content creators to use our service. Um, obviously, we don't want a content creator to just forget that we exist, um, you know, but but we at least have sort of a backup of their channel. Anyway. Yeah. They could they could set it and forget it. It could be a backup um, if you because yeah. if, if you're out there, if you're a content creator out there specifically, like I know I'm mostly talking to gun guys. Right. But I think there's lots of other people. You guys aren't discriminating against anyone. Um, if you guys want to have your content backed up somewhere so that if you wake up one day and YouTube has killed your channel, your your all your videos exist somewhere else. So you can easily point everyone over to it. That's what Gunstreamer is. It's standalone. So when those videos come over, they don't live on YouTube. They live on Gunstreamer as well as YouTube. 
Okay, yes. so people can look at it. It's searchable, all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, so that's that's one good part of it. Then the other thing that you guys already have, and the reason why I'm talking about this is I think there's lots of people out there saying, oh, we need something like this. So uh, mm -hmm. I think Gunstreamer is that, you know, we've been looking into Gunstreamer and other places um, in, in the last uh, year as well. So the other thing that people wanted was a, was an app, right, that you can have on your phone. You right. guys have that also, right? Yes, for Android and iOS. Okay, so you guys have that as well. And so now the other piece of the the, the puzzle, I think, for um, for content creators out there is that with everything going on with YouTube and videos being demonetized and basically you're kind of like shadow banned on YouTube and all that from having monetization, even if you're monetized, you know, everyone's, a lot of people, not everyone, a lot of people have turned to Patreon, but Patreon, the terms of service are actually against us as gun guys specifically. That's right. Yeah. So that's something I think people are looking for and contributors is that, right? Yes, contributors is that. Uh, it, it, you know, it feels very similar when you go in and create your tiers uh, to monetize your content or to give out rewards. Um, you know, but it, but like I said, it, it's it's very much at, in its uh, infancy as a product right now. Um, but it's functional, right? So so if people want to monetize their content, they're welcome to do so today. So mm -hmm. I think that's what, you know, that, that, to us with, to us getting this out uh, sooner than later and um, not having to delay the release of it for major features uh, was a decision that we came to because, you know, at, at this point we have a lot of content creators who are helping us promote the product and they're helping us get people to Gunstreamer, um, you know, so we obviously we want to give that back. Yeah, I thought this would be I thought this would be a good feature just because okay, everyone's basically putting their videos over on Gunstreamer as a backup, but really what we need is to build the audience that are actually going over to Gunstreamer and watching things. But if you have these videos in two different places, what's the motivation for the consumer out there to make that extra click? I don't think it's incredibly difficult to find Gunstreamer, but you know, it's it's a click or two. So what's the motivation to make that click? Maybe if the videos um, we're turned on over there first the way that folks like myself for example um, I have I have a patreon account for the people who follow us on patreon We mm -hmm. we post a video to YouTube and then for the first couple of days We have it unlisted and only the folks on patreon. We share the link with them. They can watch it through that so so now Contributors is something like that. We could put videos over on Gunstreamer. They could be right. there uniquely and then people who contribute to us and we could set like uh, different tiers of what people would have to contribute, then they get access. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Um, you can set up the tiers however you'd like. Um, you know, one thing to note is that the, the content creator is responsible for all of the rewards. So we don't have any automatic mechanisms uh, for say releasing the video live in seven days, but that for the duration of that seven days, it'll be under your contributors tier. All of the all of the rewards system is 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 based on is the, the responsibility of the content creator uh, and what you actually pitch in your tiers that you create. Okay. Uh, now you can create right now you can create up to seven tiers um, and you know people can put whatever they want in there. The first tier could be a free sticker or a monthly social media shout out or you know just let the imagination go wild. Uh, okay. But. But the but the one feature that that integrates directly with that and gun streamer is the ability to lock down that content, uh, and when they pay for that content, then they they have access to everything under that tier. Okay, so is this um, this is live now? This is live now. Yep. Okay, um, and I think uh, I think we signed me up for it yesterday, right? So yeah. I should have at least one video there like that if people want to see whatever it is. Right. Yeah. So if you actually go to the Hank Strange channel on Gun Streamer. Um, it should it should land you right on his homepage where he has the first ever contributors locked content. There you go. Yes, yes. And I have a th I, my tier should be three bucks. Yeah. And that's monthly, right? Yes. Uh, everything yeah. under contributors is a monthly monthly contribution that you're signing up for. Okay. So uh, I mean, I know there's probably a bunch of questions. I don't know if we just should we just jump into asking questions. Should we try to show people how yeah. this works? Let me go ahead and try to share my screen. Um, okay. And to pull up just a couple of the bullet points. Uh, let's see. Let me let me know. Nothing too weird on there. 
Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Okay, uh, All right. Yeah, we got you locked in. <laughs> All right. So so let's see. So so this is actually gunstreamer.com. For those of you who have never visited us, this is what the homepage looks like. Um, you know, the layout may feel. Look so at those handsome men right there. Yeah, look at those two. I didn't make the front page. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what's wrong world. <laughs> so wait, I'm on the front page of Gunstreamer at the moment. You are. You're on the front wow, page. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I mean, I got an American Gun Chick video, and I don't get on the front page of Gunstreamer. <laughs> come on, come on. Maybe next time, <laughs> Hank. Maybe next okay, time. okay, okay. I'm all right. I'm good. Um, yeah. So just, I mean, I'll just kind of skim through this really quickly. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the look and feel may be very similar to YouTube. We want it to feel natural for users and not to have a big learning curve when they end up using it. Um, actually, here is your video. Mm -hmm. So this is Hank's video that's locked down. So everywhere you see this, this is what you're going to see for contributors. Right. Um, whether that yeah. and that's a video. That's a video with you, Walter, the Grand Power Strybog. Oh, that's leaders. cool. Then. That's stock cool. adapter. So, a uh, quick question. Sure. Um, contributors. So uh, you guys may have covered it, but I'm not. Can't remember. Is it's specific to the 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 content creator? So you don't pay like three bucks a month and have uh, all the content. You pay three bucks to Hank and you get his content. Correct. You're uh, correct. Yeah. You will be supporting Hank Strange specifically. Okay. Specifically and specifically under this tier. So cool. Okay. So whatever he wants to put under this tier, that's what you get. Yeah, uh, and it, so it won't. My understanding is it won't be everything that you have to. There's videos already there. People, you know, can have access to that, but maybe new videos or something like that. Right. Uh, the content creator could go in there and lock those videos, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as they create their tiers, they'll see a new section on the edit, upload, or import screen that will allow them to, to put any video of theirs under whatever tier they would like. Um, so we'll, we'll visit that in a second. Um, but yeah, so, so what I was going back to is we, we have a fairly simple homepage here. All of your, the people you subscribe to come up here. Um, trending top videos and some featured channels. Um, so it feels very much like YouTube. And if, if for content creators who are out there, if they do end up wanting to use our auto import feature, you'll find it under this link here, import from YouTube and then channel. So here's where you can just put in your channel ID and we can import everything from the, for, from the past to the future. So if that's what you would like, if you'd only like to just do a one-time import, we can do that too. My my channel ID is Hickok forty five. Go ahead and import that straight over. For we, me. we have had Hickok forty five come through. So, <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> from a content creator who didn't own Hickok. 45. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not the first person to think about that. <laughs> so that, that's happened a couple of times, but you know it, that that's for, with Gunstreamer. That's one of our things is you have to own the content that you're. <laughs> just so everyone knows. <laughs> I know he's gonna go put that in there anyways. <laughs> yeah. This is anyway, Patrick we're talking about. So 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 this is um from a user, this is what they would see. Um, like for Hank's content, for instance, who's already locked down a video. Now, as a content creator, if you end up going to your settings here, you'll see a new tab called Contributus. And if you click on Contributus, you'll you'll have the ability of creating these tiers. So you okay. can create whatever tier you'd like here. Um, let's see. So we can just actually run through this real quick. Um, I hope nobody's actually going to buy into this tier because I don't have any content. So, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So Austin, so basically you're walking us through how you set up a tier. If you are a content creator, if you're a content creator, this is how you set up a tier and then you can start throwing content under that tier. Um, and then after mm -hmm. the tier has ended up being created, you can actually see all of the people who have contributed to you and all of the, the contributions that you've made right oh, here. Okay. So that's available to you. And then if you need any help walking through this whatsoever, you can go to contributors.com. Here we have just a basic description of what Contributus is, um, sort of a, a flyer style graphic to show you kind of how it works between the content creator and the content consumer. And then for both the content creator and the content consumer, you have all the steps that you need to, to go through this, creating tiers, adding videos to the tier, et cetera. OK. Yeah, that's you know, I think this is pretty cool. I, I can see people using this in a lot of different ways. So for example, people that want to do tutorials and things like that, 
can put up their tutorials here and then people can contribute to them you know in some level and then get access to those tutorials there's just lots of different things that you could do right yeah or if they if you put some like special coupon codes that you want you know your contributors uh, followers to see then you can put that in the description of a video there's so many ways that this can be used um mm -hmm. so we're just kind of hoping that people figure that out and end up using it you know? yeah so let's uh let's go because i know walter is dying to ask some questions here so well, let's get walter no, in. no i'm not dying i mean i'm just yeah curious um, curious <laughs> yeah, yeah as, as, a, as, a, as somebody told me once curiosity killed the cat satisfaction <laughs> brought it back so <laughs> FYI, it's that easy. It looks like Paul has already done the import for me. I went and created an account, asked for an import, and Paul just did it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, cool. So my account is, should be up and running under Babyface P on Gunstreamer. Oh, so nice. if, if, <laughs> if, if I've already had my stuff imported, which I have, will that continue to happen? As I add things, I put things on YouTube, will it continue to? Uh, well, I think when we imported your channel, it was before we had the auto import feature. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so we need you to go fill out that form again so that we get So it. that's the import from, I was I, I was listening, but I wasn't listening. Um, that was <laughs> import from YouTube. And then okay, okay. Channel, yeah. yeah. And apply here, okay. Excellent, I will. Yeah, and any questions like that that folks out there have, I mean, we have Austin, we've got the uh, Gunstreamer guys here and live right now so um, go ahead. somebody did have a question i don't know if you want to answer or not but i'll post it um payment processor you guys aren't using paypal are you That's yeah so that is a good question we'll go ahead and get in front of that right now we are actually using paypal for now okay. um we you know this was kind of a tough decision for us when we looked at all the options out there um we will be obviously this is this is a uh, open document for us this is an open project that will be continuing to continuing to build. And one of the first things that we're going to do is try to implement a payment processor that we know will serve us mm. long in the future. Um, yeah, that's a scary thing. Yeah, it is. Um, PayPal right now, as far as the gun thing goes, is is primarily focused on the sale of guns and ammunition. Um, so I, I think for now, we're pretty much in the clear, but we will, we are actively building a solution that, that like I said, will serve us and the content creators and all of our users long, okay. long so just to just to uh, go back to that the uh, question that Patrick brought up there, I know that there's gun guys that have concerns with PayPal because obviously PayPal has concerns with uh, with uh, gun transactions. You're saying that that should be limited to to right. to the buying and selling of uh, guns and right. accessories, etc., and not to information streaming videos. Yes, and, and at this that, point, yes, and as far as guns firearms in included in their policy that is very clear mm -hmm. that it specifically relates to the purchase of firearms and ammunition okay now they could and, and i think you know this is like fair to say they could turn around and and um and include you know this like gun streamer or something like that but you guys are prepared for that right you guys are yeah getting, yeah we're like, going to be out of outside of the target by the time that happens so. okay all right so that's cool. good yeah, um that's yeah. Any other questions uh, with that, Patrick? Or uh, that came from somebody in the chat, so it wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> but I'm I'm reading chat to see what comes up. Yeah. No, that's a good point. I think that's all. Listen, I know that that's always the number one thing. How you're going to collect things? You you guys are not planning on just staying with PayPal as the only payment model. No, Which absolutely is, not. Um, we don't know. I, I I can't say for sure what we will and will not use in the future. You know, we we would like to maybe scope out and see if it's realistic for us to do something like Bitcoin even. Uh, there there are a lot of different ways that we could do this. We're still figuring that out, but we're going to be working on that very hard. So Cool. Yeah. And then in terms of like other payment um, collection methods out there, I know you want to make sure that whoever you get into business with is actually pro-gun and pro-Second Amendment and the message and all that kind of stuff. Right. Right. And which, you know, I we've discussed this a little bit there's you know there's other ways that we could collect rather than using a service you know we could we could try to get um credit card billing in there but you, you know a lot of these credit card companies have similar views as paypal i don't know if anyone is yeah. aware of this or not even one of the biggest um credit card processing companies uh, in america is called braintree and braintree is owned by paypal um you know <laughs> so, so we're really kind of like dancing around to find lines to figure out what exactly our options are going to be, um, but we'll get there. 
Strike, yeah. I think, is the same thing. They don't want to deal with gun people. Right. Yeah. Um, I think that we just have to keep building those things out. You know, we have to be able to identify the uh, pro pro gun credit card yeah. processors and all that kind of stuff out there. Maybe uh, Bitcoin's probably an option. You know, but then not everyone is up on Bitcoin and have, right. the, first of all, who no. out there already collects Bitcoin? Put your hands up. Patrick, babyface. You, you know, know, I I wish I could say yeah, but I I don't at the moment. Oh, I okay. I have a relatively small amount of Bitcoin sitting somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, know, I was like ever? that sitting somewhere. Sitting yeah. somewhere. <laughs> I, I I had a friend uh, that I worked with at Groove Shark that pulled out an old hard drive from years ago, and he had like a coin and a half sitting on it. Oh Just no way! <laughs> so it's great because, and I think it was it wasn't when it was at its prime, like whatever eighteen thousand a coin. It was at like it was still at like forty five hundred a coin, and he bought in at like three hundred a coin. So he was wow. excited. Now yeah. he was really happy to find that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Walter, are you have you done any kind of? Uh, no, no, I've talked okay. about it with my with my son, but we haven't done anything yet. I mean, um, not a bad idea, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I see Richard Hughes out there says he's a former Bitcoin miner. I had four hundred Bitcoin stolen, says Richard Hughes. Oh, wow. really? Oh, okay. That's yeah. that's nuts. And Hence that's the former. Really Hence the former. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was going to go to Richard's jet. Yeah, <laughs> four hundred at current market value. Let's see what that is. <sighs> yeah. So, um, go ahead, Walter. No, no, I'm the the whole Bitcoin thing is. You know, it's kind of like the stock market. So mm -hmm. when it's going good, it's going great. But when it's going bad, it could go real bad. So 400 coins right now is a million and a half. Just so you know, Richard Hughes, a million and a half. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, nice to just <laughs> turn it. Turn the, turn the blade. And get a lot of sandals with oh, a million my. and a half bucks. God. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, hey, baby get, face, check this you, out. You can buy bulletproof feet if you're Richard Hughes. <laughs> Okay, so what is this, Walter? We can't this show is, it off yet. It's secret. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying what it is. <laughs> oh boy. I so so for anybody out there, I it's CAD, a Bitcoin. It's a live CAD, Bitcoin. I cat designed something the other like two nights ago. Cat designed it, sent it to Walter. Today it's made. Can you believe that? How crazy! But it's not is that? right. Ah! I know. I know. Chris told me that today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's stick to the subject Back here. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. To the subject here for a second. Okay, okay. So, so Austin payment. You guys realize that that's going to be in flux. You're looking for different payment options and things like that, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think the whole Bitcoin thing. Lots of us are going to have to come up to speed to do that. And you know that. Hey, that may be a thing in the future. Okay, so other questions out there that people have. Let's see. What other questions do you guys have? I saw a bunch of content creators were here. Uh, if, if those guys are still in here, let us know what questions you guys have about this. So, I mean, when somebody says content creator, that can be just somebody at home making videos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it yeah. doesn't, you know, I got to say, I'll start, everybody starts someplace. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. okay. Right, you're yeah. a content creator. Yeah, basically, yeah. yes. Um, look at Mower Death. Yeah, you know, I mean, I started that just throwing stuff up, and you know, <laughs> yeah. I need to do more. Actually, people love that stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's entertaining. <laughs> what? I said it's entertaining. Yeah, That's yeah, it's, it's it's yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I need to remake the. Uh, this is it's terrible video content. Oh, I should do it for Instagram though. The shoeseum. You know shoe when you go, you know when you go through a iffy neighborhood, you see shoes hanging from the power line. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can okay. take pictures of that and post them online. Is a shoeseum. <laughs> no, I think it'd be shoot. more fun to shoot them off the wire. That would be amazingly fun, but <laughs> <laughs> mm. you could also very easily wind up in prison. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know, I know, I know. There's people they will have on the to other... throw a shoe up there for you. <laughs> there's people in that. There's people in that other neighborhood a couple miles away. So you know. Just, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Go ahead. Hey, you should not have brought us on this show because we're going to keep bringing you off topic real fast. <laughs> no, no, that's it's fine. So uh, Ron and Ron says, does gun streamer or contributors take a percentage of the monies? Yes, gun streamer does. Um, if you actually go to that settings page where you set up your tiers, right now we have uh, gun streamer set at 10% for everyone. Um, we mentioned in with a little blurb in, on top of that that says, you know, gun streamer takes a share to support the platform. Um, and we don't know if anyone will actually use this, but there's a slider and it can and you can take that slider from 10% and make it higher if you'd like. 
Oh, okay, so we can contribute a little bit more towards helping the streamer grow, right? Okay, yeah, yeah there's right. nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah. We actually, fairly shortly here, hopefully we get this out before shot, but you know, it's more for Gunstreamer, but we, we will end up having um, tiers for Gunstreamer, but people can contribute directly to Gunstreamer. And you know, with some of those tiers, we're hoping to have like advertising space that they can use or various things that Gunstreamer can help with that, that you know, that they can be rewarded with by using those tiers for Gunstreamer. Okay. Um, yeah, and, the, and and here's the thing about that that I think folks need to realize out there. For example, lots of people want live. So the ability to for you guys to have live video through Gunstreamer is expensive. It's not. I don't, um, I don't know if you want to get into exactly what it's going to cost, Austin, but it does cost money. So we you guys have to be able to. Like, huh? but it is expensive, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, all of these things have to be funded somehow. That's right? the big thing. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. want it free. I want it free. Uh, Come on. Yeah. And yeah. now. Free and now. Free and now. Yeah. We're, yeah. Amazon, come on. Bring yeah. it to me and now. Sure, I think it's worth mentioning also that aside from the, the major costs of, of setting up live streaming, uh, it's also a major effort um, from a development side. It's, it, if we implement live streaming here in the near future, um, which we have been working on it, on some of the framework of it, but if we actually end up going live with it, it will be easily the biggest um, task that we've accomplished um, just to set all this up. So the amount of development time, the amount of money, I mean, you know, you look at companies like YouTube and Facebook and even Apple with their FaceTime thing, they're still developing basic, some of them are still developing basic features for live streaming and some of them getting live streaming out the door took years, right? And we're trying to do this in a short amount of time and as cheap amount as possible. Um, and we really are working on getting this for you guys. Um, but, you know, we there's some cost analysis. There's, there, I mean, there, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of moving parts to making it happen. And when we deploy it, it has to be 100%, right? Yeah. We can't fail the day we deploy it or our reputation is out the door. So. This is a very big project for us, and, and we ask from everyone, you know, that the patients can, you know, that the patients can stay, um, for, you know, for us on the fact of us getting that out there. Now, yes, contributors, if contributors ends up working out for us, that will help a ton for live streaming. Mm -hmm. And and listen, what I'm the most concerned about here is uh, an a platform that is friendly to Second Amendment people and other content creators out there. Not, you know, it's just not not about the Second Amendment stuff. I do other things, but a platform that's friendly to us that we can communicate with that stays online, that stays running. You know, that's the most important thing. And then, of course, it would be awesome to have all these features added and and upgraded and things like that. But we, I, I would just like to have that alternative because I think eventually we'll be sitting in a situation where. You know, uh, I'm not saying they're going to maybe completely kick us off, but there's a whole bunch of stuff you won't be able to do. Just like right now, today, there are things you can't do. Um, yeah. I found on YouTube will not let us post any videos of us assembling anything anymore. Yeah. You know, um, like that crushes some channels. Just kill yeah. It. Yeah. And they're going <laughs> to keep, keep extending that up. Why do you think I haven't posted anything in forever? It's because like for me, that's my bread and butter. Like what I like to do is show off how to make stuff and most of yeah. that's guns so yeah well i think you can do that on gunstreamer and you yeah can, exactly you, now i can yeah, post up to gunstreamer yeah and if you want to open up a contributors thing and people can you know if people appreciate you doing what you're doing they can contribute something to you and that's mm -hmm. you know that's helpful motivation to keep you going yeah totally you know and doing more things um gunfather said just filled out the form to have uh my content transfer thank you i've been wondering how to do that so that's uh I'm trying to keep up a thing. Uh, let me see. I think uh, Tyvin asked me something here. Let me see what Tyvin said. Can we take to other platforms to make money? So that's that's uh, Tyvin's question. Can we what? Take What's that mean? I don't know. I don't understand the question. I don't either. <laughs> Can we <laughs> want, take to other platforms? If it's a gun, if it's a question for Gunstreamer. Um, contributors content cannot be posted elsewhere unless you actually embed a video. Um, I don't know if that's the question that he's asking. But oh, if, so is he saying, can, can you use contributors somewhere else? Yeah. The, so answer, you, the answer is oh, no. Yeah, we're right. site specific. Yeah, you could embed a video that is under a tier of contributors on a website anywhere, and it will 
it will block that content, right? Oh, oh okay. So that it could oh, kind okay. of work. Yeah, so it could kind of work, but that's not the direct focus right now. So. Oh, Hank's frozen, by the way. That's not his face. Um, <laughs> he uh, he just texted me and said he lost power. Oh, <laughs> so, oh dear. Yeah. So, this is now the Safety Harbor Farm Show. Hey, welcome, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we have a special guest from. <laughs> oh man, he says keep going everywhere around is uh, is down at the moment. So oh, I guess wow, the whole man. neighborhood is about power. Where's the gen said Hank Strange? Come on, where's it? Right. Come on. Okay. All right. Well, um, so my question is to set um, up the contributors thing for a, <laughs> for a, for a, you have to go to the contributor site or can you do it off a of gun? Yeah. yeah. So so there's actually nothing but information on the contributor site right now. Okay. Um, everyone. Everyone who has uploaded a video, um, or I guess if you haven't uploaded your first video yet, but anyone has the contributors tab on their account, um, and they have the ability to. Are we? Uh, are we still live? Yeah, we're still good. We're still live. Yeah, we're still going. We're still yeah, so so it continues even without Hank, so we're fine. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> anyway, so so they so anyone who um, creates an account has the ability to go and create contributors tiers. Um, cool. It's up to anyone who creates those tiers to use them, you know, um, however they'd like. And and oh, Walter's Sorry. getting loud. Sorry. Um, the stream is going here. down. Tyvin says. What does that mean? Uh, entire area just lost power, like a transformer blew out. Lola oh, says. Right. So. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, still says live in the top corner, and people are still asking questions. So I think yeah. still okay. We'll keep going then. Um, the and I, w I just wanted to mention that you know the, with these features that we're rolling out like the auto import feature, the apps, contributors, we're we're really trying to make our, our strongest push for a content creator essentially not to say no, right? I mean, with the auto import, we made it so simple um, for anyone who's worried that their content could be, I don't know, monitored or shut down or get strikes on YouTube, mm -hmm. then it. Easy yes, right? Because they don't have to do anything really. Um, right, right, right. Earlier, we don't want people to forget about GunStreamer, but you know, we will be your backup <laughs> if we need to. I, I I like that. Like that's such a great thing that you don't have to worry about. Uh, so when Hank, uh, what was it? This it might have been this channel or the previous channel. A couple things uh, he went, uh, he got removed, mm -hmm. and a couple of the videos got whatever locked away where we couldn't download them, we couldn't do anything with them, and. Yeah. Uh, he had to dig through like a year's worth of hard drives to, to try to find uh -huh. that one video. So well, having I, it back up somewhere is, is uh, amazing to begin with. And then having all the features that come with that is awesome. Right. And and for the people who still want to say no, I mean, and and are getting squeezed out of other situations like, like the Patreon thing, right? I'm not saying the Patreon has really pulled out the gun yet and started executing their power um it's it, i feel like it's coming though it seems like it might be coming um yeah. with all the news that they've been in lately um so you know just i think with contributors it's just another reason that we can get a yes uh, from both users and content creators yeah i can't i can't believe when they oh. came out and like they doubled down after all the controversy came out instead of saying oh we made a mistake we'll fix it they right. like doubled down and said no this is how it is. <laughs> yeah, they definitely. Uh, and I think that I was reading an article that they had basically at various times used various different reasons that didn't quite match up. Yes, that's that to me was the big thing is they never they never really made sense. And um, yeah. the CEO, when he had a talk with um, he was on a podcast a year ago when somebody else got removed saying like, oh, we don't care what you say on Twitter. We don't care what you say on some other platforms. Just don't do it on our platform and it's fine. And they go and turn around and say, well, that doesn't count any longer. Right, because so. he, he didn't, that that YouTube video, he didn't have on uh, Patreon. No, right? no, no, it, was, it wasn't even on his channel on YouTube. It was on some, he was like, being, he was on somebody else's podcast. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, Vanessa Kitty says, who owns Contributus? Gunstreamer owns Contributus. Yep. Full yep. out Gunstreamer. It is their product. It's their baby. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. And the reason that we felt, uh, <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, no. I somebody posted on the thing. Uh, yeah, Walter. At least eat something for crying out loud. <laughs> I already ate. I already ate. And if you missed it, I already had a, a chocolate bar too. I mean, an ice cream bar. So, <laughs> you no, know, come on. 
Okay, I'll have a drink for everybody. <laughs> Cheers. And that's just Diet Coke, so. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, back to business. Yeah, um, so so the, the reason that we felt that so strongly that this had to be a brand of its own is because we feel like people could use this who don't want to create video content. Um, but also, we have very vague and not very uh, structured plans for uh, eventually announcing a sort of secondary platform or a, a sister to Gunstreamer who allow different types of content. Um, because, you know, it, it, no matter how many times we say that you're welcome to put coffee videos or cooking it's, or cars, you know. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird to, to say, hey, come see me on Gunstreamer. I smoke cigars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we had a specific reason when we started this whole thing. Um, yeah. But, you know, if people you want to use the platform that we've Yeah, built, I can see you. Barely. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, yeah, we had a we had a massive blackout here. The highway, <laughs> all the lights, everything shut down. And the so highway I, went dark. Yeah. Oh my god. You got so, your O light going there. Yeah. I, <laughs> Where's I your everyday on, carry, Hank Strange? We got the lights back on. I'm just waiting for everything to kick back up. Then I could jump back in the normal way. Okay. Yeah. So I mean. Uh, so I um, sure you what's guys the... out of the the whole thing? What sort of roadmap uh, do you guys have looking forward for features for Contributus? Um, that's a good question. So really what we want to do first is, is build a, a sort of blogging platform for Gunstreamer. So rather than, and it, it should be fairly simple for us because we have all of the ingredients for blog content, um, but you know, right now it's just video content. So all those other form fields that you get when you upload a video, those could be applied to blogs. Um, so we want to we want to allow people to just write out a post and have it stick on their homepage. Um, okay. when, we, when we actually get the blog functionality, uh, and obviously we already have the video functionality, we can then move that content to Contributus as its own single standing platform. So people can go to Contributus and see not necessarily everything that you would normally see on something like Gunstreamer, but just see you know the content creators and their wall. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's kind of one of the first steps. Uh, and then, like I said, eventually we've mentioned this a couple of times, but we have, we have very little, um, worked out plans for how it will work, but a sister plan, a sister, uh, website to Gunstreamer where people can upload any type of content contributors would be the backbone of monetization on that system as well. Uh, do you guys, do you see you guys ever trying to get on the heels of things like Patreon? Like um taking some of their market share possibly you know uh, it's it's kind of an interesting thing i think um for for i think a lot of people uh they're gonna have a hard time walking away from the users that they're currently subscribed to right so yeah if, um, if anyone were to say i'm ditching patreon and i'm going to contribute us they're going to lose a certain share yep it that's could be like big. People, that's like people walking away from paypal it ain't yeah. gonna happen. Yes, it's it's sad as because it is. Because it's, I mean, I, I... we should be coming on. Okay, there we should be live right now. All right, <laughs> what a yeah. disaster that you power guys, outage. Yeah, once once the uh, power went down here and I lost the internet, you have like a very limited time to get back on, or we lose the whole stream, and, and then you have to start. Stream. Yeah, so we lost the whole thing, so we have to start it all over again. All Don't over make again. Me jazz hands. This is episode uh, three eleven. B. Don't make me. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not going to make you do jazz hands, baby face. So we're, you know, everyone's, um, well, whoever we can get back on. We've got Austin. What's up, Austin? Hey. Hey, I'm hey. Waiting for Walter. Walter's got to restart. Let me tell him that I sent him right. links. Let the people out there know that, you know, we are back on. Let all your friends know that we're back on. Let me tell Walter sent links. So there we go. And we do have Austin from Gunstreamer. We're talking about contributors. So, you know, I can see there are people coming back in. Welcome back to everyone who's jumping back in with us. This is, a, you know what, Austin? This is why you have to create a live option, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that your power won't go out? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, we have to, well, maybe we'll have to get a backup generator over here or something like that. Yeah, to keep the uh, power going. Yeah, so we are waiting for Walter to come back in. Uh, who knows what Walter is up to because we have not seen him yet. Yeah, he'll be. Yeah, let me eventually. let me text him again. 
He'll be back. Yeah. He'll be back. Yeah. He'll he'll come on and he'll tell, oh, hold your horses. <laughs> hold your horses. That's going to be how much you want to bet. That's the first thing Walter says. Okay. Vanessa Kitty wants to know, Austin, while we're waiting, is Gunstreamer hiring? Not at this time. Oh, okay. So there you go. Um, shout out to everyone who's coming back in here with us and rejoining us. Walter, how'd your camera get um, knocked out of position so quickly? Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly where we left off. We'll, we'll have to try to like yeah, look completely it. different. I'm going to have to do some serious editing uh, <laughs> on the actual podcast side of this. <laughs> oh, let it freestyle. Yeah. Um, Simpson Road Larry says Walter probably went to Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, went, I went to the water faucet. That's what I went to. <laughs> Brian Wyatt says, uh, glad, you're, glad you're back on. Shout out to everyone who's joining us. Thanks for coming back in here. Uh, you know, we really appreciate you guys coming back. Yeah. So there was like a, I don't know, you guys probably did not catch this, but this whole, the whole section of this whole area that we're that the uh, studio is located in. We're right off the highway, um, I-75. So everything shut down over here. And it actually shut down. The lights came back on, then shut down again. Oh, wow. So yeah. that's what took me so long getting back on. And then the internet thing has to totally reboot, <clears throat> which that takes about 10 minutes or so. So that's what went down. I, it looks like everything's OK now, right? Right, Lola? OK, yeah. So we're back up and running. Uh, Austin, you want to recap us? We're talking about uh, we're talking to Gunstreamer. We're talking about what is Gunstreamer, and um, and then you guys have announced contributors. Do you want to just go back over that one more again? If you don't yeah. Mind? So real quick, uh, Gunstreamer is a video uh, sharing platform. Um, anyone can sign up. It's free. It's always free. Uh, we do um, we do allow anyone to sign up and anyone to upload videos. It's primarily focused in firearms, uh, but there's varying other subjects. Um, we have auto importing from YouTube, instant importing videos from YouTube, apps, uh, iOS app, Android app. I'm just doing the shameless plugs now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with um, that. And, and today we released our new um, content creator monetization platform, which allows uh, users or content consumers to contribute to the content creators that they value most, uh, help fund the content creators, um, and a little bit of that help funding uh, Gunstreamer too. I'm yeah. very excited about this. Yeah, yeah, it's, I think it's a um, you know, very welcome uh, addition to the community because um, I, like I said, and, I, and probably no one heard me saying it other than you guys, that there's, uh, you know, we've got people who support us on Patreon, but with everything going on, there's a lot of people that don't want to deal with Patreon anymore, so they're looking for alternatives. Uh, and, I, and I think this is timely that um, that you guys have come up with an alternative out there. So, yeah. you know, you're just building up. This is Gen One, right? Version Gen One, one yeah. We had a uh, we we have been all all throughout Gunstreamers history. You know, we've been trying to find innovative ways to monetize uh, the content creators, monetize the platform. I don't know if you know this, Hank, but you're you know part to blame for us getting this in, uh, kicking this in gear, and making sure that we got it out. Oh um, yeah, so, you know, lay it all, they, lay it they, all on me. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think it's a really important thing for you know to element to have involved here to get people to do more than just use you guys as a backup. Right, right, because right. you need to grow the numbers, mm -hmm. and I think that this is. This is something that lots of people can use out there, and I'd like to see them, you know, getting involved using it and and creating some content and and giving motivation to the people that support them to actually, um, you know, look to Gunstreamer first for the content that they want to see. Right, and we've talked about we've talked about the feature that we implemented called auto importing, and it imports entire channels from YouTube, and then all future videos get imported from YouTube. Um, and you know, like you just said, we don't want we don't want the content creators to set it and forget it. Uh, we understand that some will. We understand that really we implemented that feature because we wanted it to be easier for content creators to use Gunstreamer rather than having to manage a dozen different platforms. Right? Super, super easy. Um, and some will, and we will. Some will forget about Gunstreamer, but we'll take their content still and we'll use it as a backup, or we'll provide fans on Gunstreamer. Uh, the the content that they might not have, especially if YouTube takes them down. So 
Yeah. That's that's the big thing is the day that YouTube takes somebody down and they realize, oh my God, all my stuff is on GunStreamer. They're going to rejoice. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I think that there's a huge benefit here for smaller content creators who are out there that you can start creating your content and you can have people support you for what you're doing. You know, you can do, um, I think, tutorials and things like that. We were talking with Babyface. You know, he likes doing tutorials, the how to um, stuff, oh, yeah. which YouTube doesn't want us to do anymore. They don't want us to show people how to make things. Nope. Right. You know, how to build things. Walter and I did a video building a 22 bullpup. No matter what we try to do, they refuse to allow that mini video to be monetized. And it's not just that they take away the monetization. They also just bury that video when they do that. Right. So that so that people don't see it. So, right. Which I think I think might in some ways be a good thing, especially if people are using the auto import feature is we've talked about this some some time in the past that people get um, people get comfortable with YouTube if nothing's going wrong. Right. Even if in a, in a case, I think there's been a few cases where YouTube has turned off a channel for like 24 hours and then reinstated the channel. Um, but if if you know and then after that period, when YouTube put them back on, then whoever the content creator gets comfortable again, and there's no real concern or, or no real uh, effort to. Yeah, there's no panic. The panic goes away. Yeah. Everyone there's out the there. Away. Yeah, even in the community from the manufacturers and other places, they go, oh, we don't really have to worry about right. this too much. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. And that's too bad. I think that's what happened when I mean, the biggest uh, the biggest uh, manufacturer uh, channel, YouTube channel that went down so far was um, uh, Brownells, actually. Right. Brownells guys. We're still see here. You know, Ministry of Propaganda, the Brownells guys, you yeah. know, we're, we're friendly with them, you know. But I think one of the one of the things that happened is because they got the YouTube channel back, Brownells and other companies out there are, are really just went back to sitting on the fence, not worrying too much about all of this because they're like, oh, we got our channel back. These guys got their channel back. Everything's fine for now. And no one is realizing that this is going to come in one massive wave. And when that happens, if people aren't really prepared for it, you're just going to see a lot of people just permanently give up the ghost. Right. And we don't want we don't want anybody to be in that position. I mean, if, if there are content creators who are helping educate the public and, and also helping feeding our interests, we don't want anybody to not be prepared for that because that, you know, the industry that we appreciate and enjoy takes a hit when that happens, you know, so. Mm -hmm. We want people to be prepared. We want people to use GunStreamer, but we want people to be prepared. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so if there's anyone out there that has questions and things like that, you know, feel free to ask us the questions. We'll try to get to it. Um, do you guys want to get into some gun stuff out there? You know, uh, there's a wild some... bear shit in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> we can definitely do some gun things. I don't know if there's any. Go ahead. Where did that come from? You never heard? You never heard that? I have heard it. Yes, yes, but. <laughs> Well, my favorite, my favorite idioms are does wild bear shit in the woods, and uh, that dog just ain't gonna hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So we can or, definitely or, or or as useless as tits on a boar hog. <laughs> tits on a boar hog. <laughs> people get some people get offended when you say. Oh, that. that's a good one. When you where's the word tits and stuff like that, they get all <laughs> they get all wonky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. So, so you want a quick tangent? You guys want a quick tangent? Um, okay. I'm actually. In the process, I've been in the process for the last seven years of writing a book. Really? Um, oh, really? Yeah. My, About what? My, uh, my grandfather is from anybody that doesn't know. My grandfather is from Tennessee. Like, like he's deep south Tennessee. Uh, born and raised on a farm. So when I used to work with him uh, before college, from like fifteen to twenty two, twenty three, I worked for his construction company, and we would be sitting around, and he would just go off on his his. Uh, limericks country limericks and sayings that they used to say back in like the the, the backwoods mm -hmm. so i started writing them all down and i have about 15 or 20 of them at this point and i told him at some point i gotta i gotta have somebody like illustrate them and like make a book out of it because that's totally like a great toilet read so wow. i got them all saved somewhere i gotta find them okay and is the book going to be entitled "Does a Bear Shit in the Woods"? <laughs> it or should some, be <laughs> or someone has someone already used that as a book title what Let's see. Where's a good one? Where's a good yeah. one? The uh, the night was black, the sky was blue, and down the alley the shit wagon flew. A bump was hit, a scream was heard, a man was killed by a flying turd. 
So there you go. Completely off topic for you guys. (laughs) Yeah. Does that have something to do with uh, running the moonshine? (laughs) Could be. (laughs) (laughs) Running the moonshine. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, you know, if you guys have questions for Gunstreamer, if you have questions for Austin, if you have questions about contributors, ask us and, uh, you know, we'll try to get those answered. Okay. So you guys remember, I, I think this was probably closer to two years ago. Standard Manufacturing, our friend, Standard Manufacturing, right? STD. Remember we gave away? I have one. Gave away an years. STD. Yeah. Uh, Babyface got an STD. Someone else out there got an STD rifle. Do you, we gave do you that away. who got the other STD? Uh, who who did we give the STD to out there? I'm trying to remember. If Lola you're in the knows. chat and you got the STD from Hank, let us know. Because I, I remember yeah. pulling it from a hat and giving it away, but I don't remember who. Yeah, let us know if we gave you an STD. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So, uh, so anyway, so that happened. Now, standard manufacturing, they make shotguns, amongst other things, right? Uh, they make the DP-12. And then they came out with the SKO. Do you remember this, Walter? The SKO? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. So it's a shotgun, but it's kind of like an AR pattern uh, thing. So the, they, t- you know, they came out with the SKO, then they later came out with the SKO shorty. They're supposed to send us those things. They actually put the what, what they're sending to us. They actually put the Hank Strange logo on it, and that was two years ago. We never got it. I think uh, one day they said that they actually sent those to a customer, and the customer was like, "Why the hell do my guns have Hank Strange on them?" And immediately sent them back because he didn't know who the hell I was. Don't blame him. And they were like, "Oh yeah, we still have we still have these guns." that we haven't sent to you so that whole saga has been going on the saga is finally over the sko has finally come in boom there it goes sko is here and uh if you look at it very carefully i'm gonna flip it over here what's on that thing look at that yeah the hank strange logo up on there that's the old classic hank strange logo so this is um, actually Lola. You got to bring me those one of those magazines from out there if you don't mind. Yeah, what's so it magazine, used for? Yeah, magazine fed twelve gauge. You know, um, with some AR type of controls on it. You know, I'm guessing you could change your 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 pistol grip here. You know, it's got the buffer tube and the stock and all that kind of stuff on it. Let's How see. long's the barrel? It does look like a space cat. Uh, there we go. There goes the magazine in it. Boom. How long's the barrel? The barrel. I'm guessing this is your. Eh, I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing. I have no idea. We're gonna have to. Let's look it up. Let's go to the website and look it up, Walter. Oh, I'm doing. Out. This, this is probably. I'm doing some Instagram I mean, I'm, right I'm, now. I'm assuming this is your standard 16 and a half inch barrel. You mean 18 and a half? Eight, is this 18? It better be, otherwise it's an SPS. <laughs> oh, okay, 18. Is this supposed to, Oh, shotguns yeah. have to be 18? Shotguns got to be 18. Either. Okay, yeah. so there you go, 18. So, yeah. Here, let's go to... Uh, let's, let me pull up a site, the website here, and get you that information. What is that, Walter? What are you saying? Um, babyface, your Instagram thing is baby underscore face P. Mm-hmm. That's okay. me. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Walter, are you doing are you doing podcast business right now? Yes, sir. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact, I am and I'm promoting gun streamer. Okay. Come on. Okay, good. <laughs> good. All right. good to know. Good. Okay. Overall length 38 inches, barrel 18 and 7 eighths chambered for two and three quarters and three inch shells. Uh tr- true choke thread pattern. Oh, and true choke, it, choke, of course. Yeah, true choke. And uh, I don't know. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> true choke. Uh, do you, what does that mean, babyface? Uh, true choke. I'm guessing it's a. You right can truly, you can truly choke it. Somebody makes choke tubes, and it's called true choke or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, side charging, but on this side. So that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> you can't charge it. Yeah. Well. Do you have to drop the mag? I don't know. Mag release is right where your finger is. Yeah. There you go. Those mags are massive. There yeah. you go. Yeah. These are, yeah. 
So let's see what else. Five round magazine, optional two, five, and 10 round magazine. So I'm guessing that's the 10, gas operated, semi-automatic. Uh, the receivers machine from aircraft, 7075 aluminum, mil spec hard adenized. Anodized. <laughs> anodized. <laughs> what is it? Anodized? I don't know. Oh, anodized. <laughs> Ambidextrous safety <laughs> AR saw mag bolt release. Uh, um, polymer accepts most AR style grips. QD mounts. Six position butt stock. Okay, hold on. Okay, Walter, you're just creating all kinds of trouble here. Let's see if we've got. Okay, well, I mean, obviously in the stock, that's like. Okay, a, a then bingo, bolt. they got it. Okay, they got it. Okay. Yeah, in the stock, and that's a. It says standard. It's a. It looks like it's a standard uh, thing. It does. It's not like Magpul or anything like that. Let me see if there's any other QD points anywhere else. Uh, not that I see on the gun itself, and um, I don't know whether a lot or not this is M lock. So, it looks like it. Yeah. Could be, could be. And, uh, you know, this one has a nice long uh, pick, Picatinny rail on it that you can just, basically people can move in on top of that Picatinny rail. Put optics, all kinds of stuff on there. Laser. This could use, you know, a laser would be really good with this. So <laughs> laser on a, on a shot. Oh, on, is this a, it's the short one or the long? Well, nah, I need the laser on the long one. Long on the one. short one, rather. Yeah, so there's this. There's this one. And then um, here's the SKO shorty that came in here. Boom. There's Boom. the shorty. There's the shorty for you. I needs a little more chopping done, I feel like. So oh, that's just yeah, me, that, though. That, 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 that ain't shorty. Don't no, it needs a little more chopping. They need to chop yeah. about half that. We have to introduce that to a, a texting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> SBS, you they have know. to ask them how short they've done it yeah. before. Well, basically, they can sell it like this because of that because they are originally making the receivers, right? Yeah. No, it it it, it, it meets the overall length requirements. So oh yeah. yeah, it's not a firearm. That's still a shotgun. So yeah. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Is that a firearm? That is a firearm. Oh, okay. They don't consider pistol. Oh, they don't grip, right? They don't consider pistol grip shotguns sporting guns. Okay. <laughs> Like say like a Mossberg, um, what is it? The one with the pistol grip from the factory, but it's got an eighteen-inch barrel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you throw that the the funny grip on the back and shorten the barrel to fourteen, you're still got your overall length. Then bingo, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. That's looking... why. When, that's why if you form one your own AOW, you have to make it from a pistol grip shotgun. You can't make it from a a, a, a stocked shotgun to make an AOW. Shotgun. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Anyways, back to business. Okay. So um, let me see. I'm going to pull up the uh, shorty. Uh, the shorty here is actually 600 bucks. And uh, the overall length, 28 and three quarters. Weighs 7.14 pounds. Barrel length is 18. So, yeah, that's why you got that. So you're saying we can't if we do anything with this, it's not AOW because it all has to be done at the factory. No. Or we can. Oh, you could, you could, you could AOW and do a form one. Okay. Um, but or or I could do it during mm -hmm. an AOW. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were a, one of those is yours and. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here? Go ahead. Go don't ahead. Spill, I don't want to spill the beans, but go ahead. You no. spill the beans. <laughs> I mean, I, I already did it with late. the contributors thing, so you know, yeah. come on. Yeah, you already did it already. <laughs> yeah. You already did it already for the second time. Yeah. So basically, they sent us these two guns to shoot, test, and all that kind of stuff. And what we're going to do is keep one for long term testing, and we're going to give away the other one to the folks out there. So, Bingo. how about that? How do you like them apples? Them apples are sweet. Yeah. So, you know, let us know what you think about it. I don't know if you guys have seen any videos of these already. Um, and all that kind of stuff. Looks like we run guns is signing up on gun streamer, so that's a good thing. Um, good. Ammunition manufacturing says you'll AOW your eye out. <laughs> 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 so there you go. So what do you think, Walter? Which one of these I gotta, do you think we should work on long term? Well, which I mean, one should we give away? What do you think? Here, I'll show you. This is the shorty again. The shoddy. The shorty. Yeah, which we the shoddy. can short. We can make it. We can make it the super shorty. Uh -oh. If you want, you know, make it even shorter. 
do some stuff with it, right? I think it needs a tail hook. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I like it with a stock better. I really do. You like the stock? Okay, let me show you. Yeah. Well, you Uh, guys make a stock. Yeah, I know. We're not getting that full effect with that uh, without that magazine in there. Okay. Oh, you want the magazine? No. Why? There? Why does that look different than the other one? Show it's me got the a, other one. It's got a top rail. Yeah, this oh. has a big. This has a rail up top. Hold the hold them has... both up at the same time. Oh yeah, Walter. Can you do are, that? These are definitely <laughs> not heavy. Stretch those man arms. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, Walter, we're gonna have a conversation after. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to be uh, so. Uh... Okay, here we go. So here we go. Here. I can't Walter. see the magazine. Okay, now I see it. Okay, okay. That's yeah. what makes it look different, not having that rail up top. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the Shoddy. rail's not on top of there. That's the difference, Walter. Okay. Here, I'll put, the, uh, I'll put the magazine in both of them so you can take a look at it. Okay. There you go. You remember so, when you make me drag the Lottie out and pick it yeah. up and hold it up? <laughs> so there you go. So that's the, uh, that's the SKO. Okay, so obviously the, the barrel magazine. doesn't reciprocate then. The barrel's fixed. The barrel reciprocates? No, I'm saying obviously it doesn't because they got a scope rail attached to the front of the barrel. So, yeah, you know, some shotguns the barrel moves back and cycles the action and all this stuff. That one doesn't. Oh, okay. No, so. yeah, I don't think that's uh, an issue here. Okay. And uh, let's put the magazine in the SKO shorty. See how that looks. There you go. Boom. <laughs> so that's with. Oh, baby face! What are you pushing? Are he doing? <laughs> Don't, don't worry about it. Hover, Focus, went to the cover the guns. to get her poor dog a bone, but when she bent over, Rover took over because he had a bone of his own. Oh, <laughs> baby your, grandma, your, your, grand, oh, your grandpa used tired. to rattle that stuff. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Tired, talking, talking limericks. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know what to put on your, um, if you want to know what to put on your gun streamer channel, baby face. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Grandpa's best phrases. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are these limericks going in your book? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me know what you guys think about that. We're going to figure this out somewhere between now and when we get back from SHOT Show. Shoot what we're going to do, we're going to give away one of these with standard manufacturing, of course. We're going to give one away um, to the folks out there. Just have to figure out how and when we're going to do that. And then one of them, you know, we'll have it as a long-term thing here that we'll test, put through the paces. Uh throw some stuff on there so what do you think yeah. walter i think we're gonna shoot it like it is first and see how how it compare the two of them you know okay all right and, okay um, you know yeah 762 says little miss muffet sat on the tuffet i'm waiting for the end of it yeah. <laughs> waiting to the em waiting for the emp yeah richard hughes says <laughs> what are the contest the rules? Then came to blast and she fell in her ass oh boy <laughs> <laughs> oh wait but then came the blast and her plastic chair melted yeah. <laughs> it's time of listening oh <laughs> oh man yeah so what's in the gun news today guys yeah what's, uh... yeah. yeah if you have questions for gun streamer you know yeah, also sorry. This might is... be rethinking okay. even coming on the show oh, now <laughs> First nothing out, else is going to be debuted ever out. again on this <laughs> show <laughs> Generacy by by gun streamer, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's okay, that's all right. What do you mean that's okay? <laughs> so, no, no, Cal I mean, says, Well, that sucks. I have no chance in hell to be able to win it. Uh, I'm guessing I don't know whether or not it's California compliant, uh, yeah. Well, I'm it's got 10 round magazine, man. Oh, well, yeah. well, I don't know. Can you have that in California? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know whether or not the. They're oh, you speaking California. of gun news, you see what they're talking about in Oregon re- rationing ammo like you only get 20 rounds a month or 10 rounds a month. The hell? Five rounds, some kind of crazy shit. Yeah, it's like you can't believe these these people. I mean, it's like where do they come from with this stuff? Um, yeah. What's going um, on with Brexit? Another they've rejected uh, Brexit Theresa again. May got a bad vote today. Yeah. Um, they and turned then, it, they, 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 they turned down it. her plan. Jeremy yeah. Corbyn put in a uh, oh god, what's it called? A no uh, no confidence vote on her. They're gonna do that yeah. again. No, I thought they can't do that again from the last time. Put it she, in today. It looks like. Oh really? Because I heard that because of the last one, she passed the last one. She was good till yeah December nineteen. 
Uh, five hours ago, Corbin Rips May oh. demands no confidence vote. Oh, she's going down. But here's the thing: if they don't, if they don't settle out what they're doing with Brexit, then England automatically has to leave, right? Unless they well, somehow change or negate everyone's vote. The well, they don't want it in I, England. <laughs> There's a lot of folks that are that they're a little unhappy with that what it's taken to get out, get it all done. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Status quo. Uh, well, you know, I don't really feel. Uh, Big sorries for the Europeans, you know. The Sounds Swiss revolutions. The Swiss had it right. They didn't get they didn't get all messed up with that monkey business. So yeah. Um, and here I'll put this gun news. This is gun news. This is legit gun news up here. I'll throw this up. Um, uh, I'll throw that up in the chat. I'll throw it up over here as well. By the way, guys, I know. Thanks for coming back. Make sure you thumbs up. And uh, let me see this. Oh, it looks like Babyface P has a channel. <laughs> That's up and running. Whoa, look at that. Babyface P, you got a channel on GunStreamer, man. That's and right. Videos know up there. And you know what's funny? I'm not in one of these videos. <laughs> man, when I type in Safety Harbor Firearms, I got, I'm in like, because of uh, the, the podcast and stuff, I'm like freaking everywhere. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. But, you know, I don't see my face anywhere, man. Babyface P. I think <laughs> we'll, all your we'll videos that, should worry. have, your thumbnail should all have my face in there. We'll, we'll fix it. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Every intro is going to just be the music with Hank's face playing over it. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to put, yeah, you've got to get up on your thumbnails. I know you don't want to. You don't. I hate, I hate it. You could do it, but you don't want to do it, right? So uh, Brazil's loosening its strict gun laws? I'm going to change yes, the subject. The new president the the new the new president's pro gun. Good for he, him. Yeah. Because he figures, well, the criminals got guns. People should have guns. Might as well clean yeah. the streets up on their own. Yeah. yeah, so this is from the Wall Street Journal. Brazil's new leader eases gun restrictions and bid to combat violence. Yeah. President vows to make it easier for civilians to defend themselves in world's most murderous nation. What? I thought that was supposed to be America. <laughs> no. no, it's not. Yeah, he's, so, um, he's mm -hmm. Brazil's Trump, so to speak. So Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so Sao, Sao Paulo, Brazil's new president, is it Jair? Jair? Bolsonaro got a pretty decent look, good looking wife too, by the yeah. way, I think too. So, yeah. which is, okay. you know, yeah. So Probably prerequisite. Trump's oh, when Trump's lead, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Prerequisite. So, uh, in the first policy move by the two week old government, Mr. Bolsonaro said Brazilians living in rural areas or regions with high homicide rates, as well as business owners will automatically qualify to buy a gun to keep on their property. They should. He specified high homicide rates as more than uh, 10 murders per 100,000 inhabitants, a rate that uh, that applied to every Brazilian state in the last government study in 2016. So that's it. That's good. That's good stuff, man. Let the people yeah. of Brazil be free to defend themselves. Yeah. You know, Heck yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, we need that in America, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know we've gone like uh two years and we haven't gotten really in my opinion any pro gun stuff from trump but, you know, stuff um that all over again Babyface on gun streamer is it spelt the same way how is it just i i got Babyface p i got my actual username so oh okay well just yeah. do a search for Babyface p it'll come up Maybe. Yeah, I think your logo. You need to since it's gun streamer and, and and it's actually free, like in terms of like you know freedom of expression. Your logo should be a baby, a baby standing in a corner with a really big head, looking at, out at the audience and peeing. What? Where did this come from? <laughs> baby what? face what? pee. <laughs> baby face pee. Oh God, you're stretching that one. <laughs> <laughs> And you'll be the first person removed from Gunstreamer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the end of the news, man removed from Gunstreamer. <laughs> yeah. Austin is right now writing in a new term. <laughs> yeah, new TLS. No, no, no urination on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it depends so, on what he puts on other platforms. <laughs> <laughs> what are your terms of service while we're on that? So uh, major things are illegal content uh, and content that you own um, and nudity actually we do have nudity in our terms of service 
Um, so no okay, so you can't you can be nude or you cannot be nude. <laughs> <laughs> Only nude. <laughs> oh god! All Just, gun content in. The yeah, because the way you said it, Austin, is a little confusing for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's perfectly clear while I'm still on the air. No nudity. <laughs> no nudity. Okay, no nudity. What's the other one? Uh, content that you own. You cannot upload like other. You people. cannot upload content you own that you don't own. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can just go read the text. Okay, what's the okay? What's the third one? What's the third one? What's the third one? <laughs> um, illegal content, mainly featuring violence. So okay, so your broken. content has to mainly feature violence, or it's illegal. <laughs> Violet naked. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> these. I didn't write it. All right. So yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just teasing you. Okay, so no violence. Um, right. Violence, no nudity, and no, it has to be your content. It has to be your content, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, Ashley says you're not living this one down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, yeah. Pat Patrick, I'm uh, I'm coming up with a dry. What am I doing wrong? I'm search search. I'm 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 in the searching for channels. Oh oh, um, new new chan brand new channels who have never uploaded before may take, I think, up to yeah. two hours to show up. On okay, our all right. Walter, That's what I'm not in our, Walter, in our chat, if you go in the chat, you know the private chat that we have, that yes. little window. Yeah. Go up to the top. You see Austin actually pasted a link to to Patrick's oh, channel. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's some. Okay. I, I might, I might don't have the guns to hold two guns up at one time, Walter. <laughs> but you know, I, I know something about the internet, the interweb. Yes. Yeah. How you like them? How you like them apples? Oh. <laughs> them apples are sweet. Them yeah, apples are sweet. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of now, you, your, your, uh, your, your channel there reminded me of something. Today at the shop, um, I had a um, uh, somebody who watches the show locally in Safety Harbor. Yeah, by the Stop. way, can you angle the camera down because oh sorry, sorry. We just sorry. see yeah, there you go. <laughs> I had to angle it up to do something. But anyways, <laughs> it was um, a disaster today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, Walter. Yeah, okay, that's all right. Go ahead, Walt. MP5 sorry. SD. You're familiar with MP5 oh, SD? Oh well, yes. one of the local one of the local viewers who lives in Safety Harbor. Stopped by the shop today out of the blue because he's looking for somebody to do some engraving on his soon-to-be SBR oh. Um, oh. with a can on it, by the way. Um, so so it's, it's it's set up properly. It's got the proper can and proper barrel, everything. So um, it's got is it an integral one on that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, if you have them, dual swings. <laughs> dual swings. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, uh, yeah. This is probably against the terms of service of gun streamer. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's swinging. It's swinging okay. <laughs> 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 if it's so, not in the so, TOS, it's okay. <laughs> Walter, that means you need to get the. You got to get that laser engraver. I gosh almighty, yeah. <laughs> so um, I got to get that determination. Yeah, um, seriously. Uh, so I can get some cash flow again. Um, but anyway, so that's yeah. Lawyers, lawyers supposed to be contact. Did you? That. So did did he bring in the gun or? Did oh he yeah, he brought it in. I I touched oh. and held. And oh. in there. No, was it's it not beautiful? an HK. It's a it's a Zeta? it's a um special weapons one. Okay, but it's a nice. It's put together really nice. It looks really good. They say it took five years to get the whole thing done. So I I still as much as I love my crank, I want an MP5. One day, one day I'll have. Yeah, one. I just need to spend the thirty thousand to get a trigger pack. And then uh, I can put it on all of the <laughs> everybody's everyone's dream. Every oh. guy's dream should oh. include. I mean, you know, oh. I'm not, and you guys know I'm not a super HK fan in terms mm. of only how the, they, only the I like the guns. I like the guns. O2, get your O2. Is that thirty thousand? Yeah. yeah. And then, then for seventy nine dollars, you can buy a trigger pack and uh, <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> yeah. modify it and, and fill out a piece of paper and you got your full up yeah. stuff. So. And I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure last year at Shot Show. I saw a company that's making the integral barrels and stuff like that. So well, they probably are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <sighs> there's some guys that specialize in all that. Yeah. So okay, so I'll put this out to the chat. I I want to. It might not happen this year, but I want to make an MP5. I'm on the fence. Do I go regular MP5 like an A3 or collapsible stock? Do I K. go K? Do K. I go MP5 K? 
Or do I do an SD and just full out get the stand? So the K, the K is the pistol, right? The K is what Walter. The little one, the small one. It it would be a well, yeah. I probably would do a pistol. I probably do the brace. Yeah, I say start with the K because then you can build up and add the stuff you need. Can you? I the Uh, upper is thin on the K. Oh, you can't. Oh, no. No, you you get one of the the barrel and go integral. No, you you could do like a KSD where I just throw a can on the end. Yeah. Why why don't you just do an X Y Z? <laughs> Easy as just... ABC. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um yeah, you really gotta think about that. So let us know. Let us know. Okay. Oh, well, I'm asking the audience, what do you guys think? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The p- folks out there, let let yeah, baby let us know which way he should go. I'm gonna read out this little bit of news here from Breitbart. DOJ, less than three percent of nation's prisoners acquired firearms at retail stores gu- and gun shows. Duh. All these laws make no damn sense. Duh. Yeah. Have they ever made any sense? No. No. The only one that makes sense is the Second Amendment. <laughs> Period. <laughs> That's all we need. That's all we need. So there you go. Um, let's see what other news we've got. What's on the firearm blog? Uh, I got the firearm blog. Are there any? Is there anything new coming out for Shot Show? Oh, by the way, Bob, we're on the subject of Shot Show. Austin, are you guys going to be at Shot Show? Yes, actually, I was going to bring that up at some point. Where are you? Uh, yeah, uh, Austin, on this show, at any point would have been good. You just say, yeah, just jump yeah. in. <laughs> hey, just remember, <laughs> guess what? Uh, Don't be yeah. polite. <laughs> we will be at shot. Uh, there will be four of us there. Um, we will not have a booth. We're going to be walking around, meeting and greeting. We are like actively looking to reach out to people to get in touch with them. Uh, regarding scheduling, you know, because I mean, it's a big place. We want to make sure that we got all our all of our stuff lined out so that we can meet everybody that we can. Um, we will be going to. Uh, I think there's a media breakfast on Wednesday. We will be going to that. Some of the content creators who have signed up as media, we can meet you guys in the media room. Um, we've got some cool new patches. Oh, dibs. what I call dibs right now. Let me I call dibs. second dibs. Hold on, throw throw those up again, Austin. All right, kaboom. Second dish. Oh, yeah. I like that too. Hank, Hank, get me one. Yes. <laughs> so, I called dibs on the first 100. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Greedy ass. Bitch. I'm calling 100 dibs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're looking very much looking forward to meet some of you guys uh, in person for the first time. Uh, yeah, let us know. If, if anybody who's listening who's going to be at Shot uh, wants to meet up with us, send an email to Ashley at gunstreamer.com. Okay. So, uh, go ahead, Walter. No, I was going to say 20613 is my booth. So. Yeah. yeah. So, so here's here's what I was going to say about that, Austin. Um, you know, I do know a booth where you can informally meet up with people. And I haven't spoken to the owner, but I'm pretty sure he'd be okay with it since he is on Gunstreamer. And it's booth 2013? 20613, damn it. 20613. <laughs> <laughs> Been, only been there like almost yeah. 10 years now. I just follow Lolo over to the booth. I don't care about numbers. Okay, yeah. I know you kind of wander aimlessly sometimes. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Lola he's going goes, along and it's like, oh, let's go over here. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Let's go over there. It's like. <laughs> that is why I go to Shot Show. <laughs> See, I'm just the opposite. I start walking the aisles and I walk every freaking aisle. Oh. I like a madman, but yeah. Yeah, I never see the whole thing. I never see the whole thing. Well, you walk your yeah. feet off doing that. But, yeah. but you can, you can, if you want to, Austin, I'm just saying, you can show up at uh, booth 20613, Safety Harbor Firearms with the whole crew and just take over, take over <laughs> the booth, uh, bring some like gun streamer banners and just put them out. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> take so, he's, so let's say he's going to be suitcasing. Oh, the, oh, yeah. Walter always has a wall that he puts patches on. Go yes, there no. and put like 20 gun streamer oh, God, patches. Don't do that. <laughs> well, well, I mean, you can if you want, but they won't yeah. last long. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, People yeah. will come we'll along come. and pick them off from there. Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah. So looking forward to it. We'll come see you there. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it is. Minute. I think it is a good opportunity for people who are uh, content creators to get in touch with you guys. Also, it's probably a good opportunity for you guys to talk to some manufacturers out there and and get people on board with the movement. Yeah. Right. Get the gun yeah. streamer movement going. 
we have a lot of plans for it. We have a lot of plans. We have a lot of people that we're hoping to speak yeah. to. Um, so yeah. And a top tip, a top tip to you. Pro Austin. tip. Yeah, top tip to you. You're gonna need to be a little bit more animated and excited. <laughs> you know, I know you're a very cool, calm, and collected guy. What <laughs> are <laughs> talking about? Yeah. <laughs> five gonna, five yeah. hour energies in the morning yeah. for breakfast. Yeah. You're gonna need to Hulk up. We want to see Hulk, you know, Austin Hulk or something like that. Hulk that's what I thought we were bringing you around for. Yeah. Well, uh, that's true. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Just have some T-shirts, you know, double extra large T-shirts with Gun Streamer on it, you know. Double extra large. I think yeah. we actually have one we were planning on giving you, but oh, cool. I don't know if we ever actually got it to you. Oh no, no, I never got any uh, Gun Streamer. It, but yeah, Gun Streamer <laughs> T-shirts. You know, uh, Babyface P. He is extra baby small. That's his size. Oh, yeah. yeah, Walter is. I'm gonna look like a big muscle man wearing a uh, large. <laughs> oh, that hurts! Oh, stop! That <laughs> yeah, I love some weights. So, let me get a question. Okay, we run guns. Our friend, we we run guns. That was here on the show with us. He says, "Would a channel like Active Self Protection violate your policies?" Active. So, Ooh, that's um, a good question, actually. Because what's Active Self Protection? Active Self Protection's channel on YouTube. For anybody who doesn't know, talks about uh, defensive handgun uses, and a lot of times the videos he posts are somewhat graphic because it shows people getting shot and then he talks about how you can learn from the situation so right. i actually like watching his content but that's a good question yeah mm -hmm. it's a very good question i have actually i followed him for a long time now also um and i very much enjoy his content and i i think the rule of thumb here is if it's if it's not if it's at least not going to break youtube's policies then it's at least not going to break our policies it's true um you know there's yeah. obviously things like like you know how on, on Facebook, I believe on YouTube, they've had situations where people have been shot on live streams. Mm -hmm. right? So that those are the kinds of situations that we have the terms of service service for to enforce. Um, you know, him reviewing like security footage of someone who ran into a bank with a shotgun is obviously is, is allowed on GunStreamer. So cool. I hope that, that answers your question. I mean, that there's there's sort of a, a, a fine line and also sometimes sort of a vagueness that we have to follow. But yeah, if, uh, if ASP wants to come to guns, Chamber, we'll welcome him with full arms. Okay. KS Harris wants to know what are the requirements for admittance into shot show Walter? Okay. Take um, that one. I was just, gonna, I was actually trying to think of how to type up a thing to him. Um, manufacturers, dealers, um, retailers, um, sales types, um, people in the media like Hank Strange. Um, but you got to see, I, I, I'm a member of the National City Ports Foundation, plus we're an exhibitor. So I I get badges with my tables and all that. Um, um, Hank, I don't know if you have to purchase your badges or not, but um, no, we're, uh, we're going on the media badges. Okay. So, and there's also some friends of the industry kind of things, but you have to get those through somebody yeah. in the industry. Yeah. And for um, media, they vet you, you know, it's a whole yeah, thing. Yeah, because they make us they, reapply. If, if they didn't, everybody would be in the media. Um, yeah. They want to see like what your blog is, your channels, you know, they, right, they want right. to see all that stuff. Right. Because I think they've had a big problem, um, especially with, uh, with uh, media day of folks just going yeah. into media day where you actually media day is out in the desert Shooting and, guns. Uh, yeah and the companies pay extra it's not like they pay it's one thing for a single at least the last time i looked for a single space to shoot like 50 cal three thousand bucks oh yeah Lord. one day yeah and that's so, you gotta you gotta bring your own ammo you gotta bring your own yeah. stuff you gotta bring yeah you're talking about a single thing and a lot uh, of those one one have... one aisle boom yeah yeah so, um, you know, and what's been happening is a lot of people have been going out there and just walking around and shooting the because so the, so these companies have employees out there. They pay for the space. Lots of ammo. You know, lots uh, of ammo. Yeah, they've got guns out there. They've got ammo and they do it so that media types can go Swag down there. and probably drinks. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's been happening is people get in there and just go in there to shoot the guns and hang out and stuff like that. And it doesn't actually. Uh, translate into media coverage, which is what right. people are doing all of that for. Right. So, um, you know, I know that they're, they're like tightening all those things. Even like this year, they're not 
actually mailing out the badges to us. We have to get there and then pick those things up. And I'm assuming okay. that's so that they can double, triple check you on ID or whatever. Make sure is. you're not like a uh, you know 65 year old grandma. Yeah, or maybe people <laughs> get those badges and then don't go to the show and sell them to people. Yeah, well, that happens too. I'm sure. Yeah, so. whatever it is. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. I get X amount of badges for my booth, and I don't necessarily every year use them all. So, um, I mean, yeah. the only yeah, what happens is if you let somebody in, and it's and they use your badge and they walk around the safety of our firearms and they get their freaking badge scanned at every booth, you know what happens? I get crap in the mail from every booth, but and I get phone calls from every sales whore in the world, <laughs> um, and oh god. Though, so no, you know, that's one thing about getting your bad scan. You get your bad scan, and all of a sudden, you get every every sale yeah. person. So, world here's home. the top tip, Walter create an email address, <laughs> yeah, that you do, don't check. <laughs> you can just fill or, or do you like well, spam plus safety harbor firearms or whatever? And when just I, that out <laughs> when I get my bad scans, there's something I want to see, you know, or that's that that's it. I don't, you know, yeah, so. But yeah, that's why you can't just hand out your badges to every boys. Well, you can't because it's you're not supposed to. That's what you yeah. Okay. So let me see. There's some other questions. Uh, I carry my revolver in single action. Wants to know how do you feel about the left giving Trump uh, about feeding the college kids at McDonald's? So I guess someone's giving Trump something about feeding. Oh yeah, the, the uh, Clemson. Yeah. The Clemson team showed up and he had basically fast food at the White House. Uh, I was. Were the kids okay with it? I don't know. Yeah, of course. They did you not see the picture? The oh, I'll find you. Hold on. I didn't. Yeah. All, all you hear about is the ones that are complaining about it. You know, oh, there's yeah. a fantastic picture. So you're you're a college kid. You actually get to the go to the White House and hang out with the president. <laughs> yeah. That most people hey don't do. I don't think you're going to complain about the food too much. Nope. Nope. You know, you're hanging out at the White House. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, and you're you're, you're, you're rubbing selfies. <laughs> You're rubbing elbows with the the press, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah. So I don't see, um, you know, I don't see kids complaining too much about that. Was that related to the shutdown, Babyface? Because um, that's what I was told. They there's no chef in the White House. But <laughs> yeah, the with chef is there. Marion. Yeah, I'm sh I'm sure Trump has his own folks there. Oh the no, chef? they're stacking up a Mickey oh, D. Yeah, no, I this guy looks so excited. You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> All the Mickey D's we want. <laughs> Trump paid out of his own pocket, otherwise there would be nothing. That's what Richard yeah, says. Yeah, that's what I was told. But I uh, the, the 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 chefs are still working at the White House. Trust me. Yeah. Now, yeah. if Trump now here's one thing I will tell you because I saw Trump violate this. So I would say if he was really and he is a New Yorker, but I'm, I'm tongue in cheek. If he was really a for reals New Yorker, he would have just had pizza. Pizza, real, that's right. Yeah. Uh, pizza pizza there, real no New York pizza up there. But I've seen Trump actually eating pizza with a knife and fork. No. <laughs> well, probably a gold one, too. He could have just yeah. wasted tax dollars and had hot dogs flown in from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and then everybody gets quiet. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, Richard Hughes says he had pizza, too. Okay. Man, I would love to go yeah. have McDonald's with the president. I'm, I'm all yeah, yeah, up for yeah, that. McDonald's, supposedly. He's like yeah. A yeah, I mean, the only thing I really like from McDonald's are the fries, the pies. <laughs> oh, fries, the one more, pies, one more rhyme. Come on. And, yeah. rhymes. It doesn't rhyme, but the milkshake. Oh, okay. <laughs> fries, the pies, and the shies. And the shies. <laughs> and the shakes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, McDonald's has a good milkshake. I don't know why. Uh, oh man, Psycho three sixteen says he should have flown in In and Out Burger. <laughs> We're gonna get on this again, where everybody's half the people are like it's not that good, and the other people are like you're crazy. Oh, I don't really see what the big deal is about In and Out Burger, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you were probably yeah. tired as a mofo when you stopped at In and Out Burger because uh, you were driving across the country. Wait, right? wait, wait. Do they have one in Vegas? Is yes, they do. Oh, there there is, yeah. there is oh, that needs to happen. We need a video on this, Hank. I haven't been there. I haven't been. We've yet. talked about this how many times? <laughs> um, I did. I didn't do video inside. I did video of me following around people in California because they had to have In and Out, and I'm like following around. We went to this In and Out, and the line, the uh, the the line was out on the street. Yeah, was, we uh, had to, we had that here because yeah. they just released a couple over the year over the just a couple brand new in Utah over the years, and the line, especially when they launched, and this was for months. It wasn't for the first day. 
Mm -hmm. Once you drive past that place, and the cars are all the way through the like Kmart parking lot and wherever. Like yeah, play. it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. I don't know what what the big deal is. It's okay. I'm not trying to say it's bad or anything like that. But I think they got um, um, Paul Gunstreamer saying Wahlburgers. Yeah, I, I Wahlburgers? think there's a Wahlburgers now in in Vegas in that um down by the wheel there. By the has anybody has anybody yeah. tried that? I haven't um, been to Wahlburgers. I I haven't been there, but I am going to try it. I have it. Gonna try it. Yeah. It's interesting because, like, for me, I thought that, like, the 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 bread on the burger looked like a a, a McDonald's burger or a patty bun, right? But the patty was like the best patty I'd ever tasted in my life. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a McDowell's. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what that is? McDowell's. McDowell's. What's no. that reference from? Coming to America. Coming. To uh, guys, it's always coming to America. Uh, speaking, speaking of speaking of speaking of McDonald's, um, they just lost the trademark thing over in um, over in Europe. I think did they so what? on on the Big Mac with a with an Irish burger outfit? Mm. Yeah, they've been battling for a while on the on the Big Mac trademark. Donald loses Big Mac trademark battle to Irish fast food chain yeah. Super Max. Yeah, mm. wow. Huh. Yeah, wow. time to call the Irish mafia and get that one. <laughs> 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 um brian quick says five guys ftw <laughs> five guys is good stuff i was five guys yesterday i think oh, or my, day heart, day. Yeah. my heart doesn't like it but it tastes so good uh, yeah 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 my wallet doesn't like it either uh, <laughs> it's expensive oh uh, speaking of, i ate at five guys when i went to uh, uh dc to meet with atf in the same building as atf on street level is a five guys oh those lucky okay bastards. yeah okay We've got five guys here in Gainesville. Yeah, oh, but yeah. it's not it's not living like working out of my garage right now. Yeah. <laughs> At street Listen, level. I want to find getting ready for a wedding. <laughs> you need to you need to get into fighting shape to Stop reminding me. Stop reminding me. Okay. <laughs> you need to get on your get on your business. Marley, Marley is looking really good, by the way. I know, I, mean, I know. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that publicly. She's working but, out. She her and her sister yeah. went to the gym the other day. Yeah, and Marley's like, doing the damn thing, you know. Yeah. You better um, you better hurry up and uh, get married before you know somebody, some <laughs> some guy in the gym says, "Oh, can, can you hand me that water bottle?" Yeah, is that Walter? Is that Walter? Yeah, that's that's Walter's trick. <laughs> what what's, what yeah. trick is it? Hand me yeah. that over there. Coming over there with your muscles all flexed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm spoken for. I can't be doing. Yeah, this, Marley is not playing around with that wedding. <laughs> I could tell. I could tell. And that's good. That's good. Uh, so she's putting in the work. This uh, guy though, this guy right here, the 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 groom drinking team. <laughs> I, I had McDonald's today for lunch and I'm kind of embarrassed <laughs> to say that. That's all right. Why not? <laughs> what did I have for yeah. lunch today? Um where'd we go? Oh we had uh 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 Tijuana Flats. Oh, so, oh. yeah. Oh. Ammunition yeah. manufacturing said only been to five guys once. It's good, not that good. That's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah I don't know I mean, what's the best burger place. I'm trying to think what's the best burger place I've ever, ever. Depends been on what to. kind of money you're going for. For me, best like cheap burger place is Steak and Shake, hands down. Steak and Shake's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like $4 for like a burger, fries, and chili and a drink or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just one Steak and Shake burger don't fill me up, though. That's not. That's true. It yeah. is pretty small. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to get something else. Wendy's. Fast food. Wendy's is my favorite. Oh, fast Wendy's food. is. Yeah. That is yeah. my absolute favorite fast food. Some chili. Yeah. Yes. Oh, with a thumb in it, especially. <laughs> yeah. Dallas Purcell says, What a burger. How hey, do you burger. eat sushi? Oh, Hank. <laughs> What? <laughs> the question is, Hank, do you eat sushi? And I, Hank, read, that do as, I, eat sushi? I read that as, how do you eat sushi? Oh. And I was like, you put it in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> A little dyslexia. My dyslexia is spreading to you. Hank, do you eat sushi? Do I eat sushi? Uh, yeah, some of it. Yeah. California <laughs> rolls, you know. Uh, I've I partake in that. You know? um, Archangel said about Red Robin. I went Red Robin once and I was not impressed. I've been there once, I, I think, and it was all right. I don't care how many free free fried frills you get. I, I how much fr uh, fried starch do you want? Yeah. Your best burgers in the world, White Castle. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being facetious. I'm being I don't know. Those are those are pretty greasy and delicious. Oh, is that like having Crystal Burgers? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't had White Castle since I lived. I think I was probably living in New Jersey, and I don't know if they had White. Yeah, they do have White Castle in New Jersey. Yeah, I used yeah, to do that in New York. 
That's like been, when you're really broke. I don't think they don't have any here in Utah. I've never, it's a northeast thing, isn't it? Yeah, what, what White Castle? Yeah, that's that's an eastern yeah. thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I don't know if we got all the questions for Gunstreamer. Maybe we can get Austin to do a recap. A recap of what, what Gunstreamer is offering uh, itself and and uh, with contributors. <laughs> yeah, I Bless can, you. From the no, that was, yeah. that was real quick. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Austin. Get your thing. Get it in. I don't want to ruin this moment. 762 <laughs> oh, just did, though. It's too late. You just go out with it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, go okay. ahead, read it. Read White it. White Castle breaks a sound barrier on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. <laughs> Fang Tactical says Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Chick fil A is high in the list. All, All right. right. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Austin. All right. Gunstreamer is a firearms video sharing platform. Uh, anyone can sign up, anyone can upload. We have a iOS app, we have an Android app. Um, and you can import videos from YouTube. So you can import individual links instantly, or we can import your entire, ch entire channel for you, and all future videos will come in within two hours. Um, so we're really excited about auto-importing. Uh, now today we have released Contributus. Contributus is a um, content creator monetization platform that allows uh, viewers to contribute to the content creators that they enjoy most. Um, somewhat similar to Patreon, but it's directly integrated into Gunstreamer, so it works really well. So go check us out. It's gunstreamer.com. We have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yes, uh, awesome. Uh, let me just do this before I comment on that. 817LDS gave us $1.99, says Fuddruckers got good burgers. So there you go. Thanks for that. Um, so here's the thing. Gunstreamer platform, standalone. You can pull your stuff from YouTube over to Gunstreamer. Um, there's an app, and then now there's a way that the people that want to support you can come in and support you for your videos. This right. is the kind of stuff that you guys out there keep asking for. You're getting it. Yeah, Gunstreamer totally. is offering it all to you. Yep. You know, um, so get up on this and start trying to, you know, support Get up on it, on like here. Hank Strange says. Get up on it. Yeah, get up. Get, get up on it. it. And thank yeah. you for having us again. Love yes, being, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we're not we're not totally done yet, but you know, just wanted to get that in. Um, a disaster of a yeah. show. But. And let us know what's your <laughs> you know. Let us know what's your favorite street meat. Street <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> your favorite street meat? Her name is <laughs> her name is Candy, <laughs> <laughs> and she show is dandy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> once, you got a, once you got a tifus in that is. <laughs> yeah. let us know let us know serious this is a serious question this is a serious question uh the pants wants to know how many uh contributors so far and contributors um you know how many yeah yeah how many people have signed up for it hopefully more and more we're going to talk about this more and more I, I don't know if I can say how many contributors specifically, but since we've been on the show, we've had over 30 people create contributors tiers. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's great. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. Yeah. Keep going. Keep yeah. So um, let me see. There's a whole bunch of things here. Uh, Jafari H says, thank you, Gunstreamer. We love you so hard. Sweet. <laughs> long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, someone says, uh, Armin Axis says, I bet Walter remembers Burger Chef. So uh, that, that is that like a drive-in place? I don't know. I, I'm thinking I'm seeing a logo, you know, but a lot of those yeah. logos back then were a lot, lot the same. Yeah, yeah, a lot the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, and um, you know, contributors is just starting today. It's just starting now. Um, I know, like, what uh, I think you said, Austin. There's uh, 500 different content creators on right. the platform. Like right, gun streamer. Yeah, so it's just starting now. Hopefully, those guys will start doing it, and people. People start uh, getting involved in this. It's definitely an alternative to Patreon and lots of other things out there. We'll have Austin come back on because this was kind of it's <laughs> tonight decided to be the night to get to get real crazy. Well, if, you, if you if you if after I give my whole spiel and my whole pitch, you keep up the like street meat topics. I'm just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about fast food. I mean, that is yeah. great. <laughs> anyway, sorry to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, you brought it back this time. Yeah. You, 
this is all you now. You, you have taken the baton. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Over uh, the top, Austin. Over the top. Yeah, that's my, uh, I took my gun streamer hat off. That's right. That's off, right. On said that. Now I'm putting my <sighs> streamer hat back on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So lots of people talking about. But listen, we will come back. We will talk about this. We'll try to do stuff even when gun streamer is not on. We'll try to have some uh, conversations about this because I think it is. Uh, th this is the stuff that we're looking for. If you really want to support these things, you got you have to get involved, right? You guys keep saying you want this stuff. It's here. Everyone needs to get involved in it. Um, did, did you want to add anything to that, Austin? No, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think you said it well enough. This is what we've we've been building this for people based on what they've been asking for, and we've been working our asses off for it. So, you know, help us out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm going to run down the gamut here with uh, Walter and Patrick first, and then we'll give we'll give uh, Austin. The last word. So, uh, Patrick, tell the folks out there how to uh, keep up with uh, you. Babyface underscore baby underscore face P on Instagram. Go find me and follow me there. You're going to get pictures of dogs and guns. Well, a dog and guns. Um, Instagram, uh, YouTube, babyface P. If you do a search, I'm there. Now, gun streamer, babyface P. You should be able to find me once my account gets indexed. So, should be soon. But yeah. find me on now all three platforms. Yes. Great. Demand your baby face pee. <laughs> Get up on it. Yeah. Demand that and your street meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. a hard act to follow. Let's see <laughs> here. Okay. Instagram, Facebook, um, Gun Streamer, too. All my uh, YouTube this stuff is all up on, on which is Safety Arbor Firearms and Mower Death. Go check out Mower Death. Mower Death's got some funny stuff on it. Um, it's old school uh, stuff I put up a long time ago, but i got to put some more up. we got to shoot some more lawnmowers, blow some more stuff up. Um, uh, working, on, working on stuff still uh, for the MP5K stock and getting ready to go to SHOT Show, so stay tuned. Yeah, okay, awesome. Uh, one last quick question. Ammunition Manufacturing said, what's Gunstreamer's interest in off-road Jeep arts and crafts? And other video types besides strictly gun content. I think I think a lot of our users can follow that stuff. We we have uh, one content creator who does a lot of uh, he does a lot of videos with his uh, Tacoma. He does a lot of off roading stuff and outdoor stuff, and I think that fits perfectly within. Oh yeah, the, the yeah. viewers that we have. So go for yeah. it. Yeah, and I've got I've got my uh, auto side Stranger Palooza. Yeah. Stuff is feeding through there. Okay, so Austin, um, you know, your last pitch to the folks out there, how they can support you guys, get involved in what you're doing. Yes, uh, GunStreamer video sharing platform. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Go to the site, see how it feels for you. If you have any feedback at all, you know, we're, we're on the phone, we're on email, responding to you guys all the time. Um, it's not like YouTube where it'll just go into a black hole. So. We're here. So reach out to us. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. If you're a content creator, upload some videos and try out contribute us and let us know what you think. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Go ahead. So for anyone who's going to SHOT Show, come meet up with us. Get our little gun streamer patch. Email ashley at gunstreamer.com. Um, yeah. Oh, and download our apps. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot for coming on, Austin. Thanks to everyone at GunStreamer for all the stuff that you guys do. I hope you guys go out there and either, you know, look at the content on GunStreamer, create yeah. content, or both of those things. Check it out. Check it out. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. And we will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is our uh, final show before we go off to SHOT Show. And we're going to have Mike from ATI Outdoors. He's coming on. You guys are not going to want to miss this. <gasps> oh, oh. It's going to be oh. really cool. He has a really cool surprise, like a, a super exclusive. We had an exclusive tonight with contributors. Uh, Walter is teasing something up there that, yes, may be relative to what's going to go down tomorrow. You're really not going to want to miss it. It's going to be really badass. So let's see. Go ahead. Babyface is throwing up stuff there, too. There you Sorry. go. Yeah, absolutely. So tomorrow, ATI Outdoors, Mike, and we'll talk about other, um, other gun stuff tomorrow. So we are out of here. Peace. Thank you. See ya. See ya.